Hello YouTube, uh, today the purpose of this video is to show you how to install the latest and best ROM available for the Goofon Wi-Fi. Uh, this ROM was modified uh, by uh, White Tiger DK uh, from XDA developers. He uh, uh, modified this and uh, made it much better, more, uh, more as an English ROM. Uh, but it also supports uh, many other languages as well. Uh, I, I have provided the link below on where to download this. The website looks just like this. So once you get to the website, you're going to go to the download section right here. Let me see if I'm not mistaken. There we go. And he has uh, two versions. One of them is the uh, White Tiger, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Groupon Modern ROM version 1.0 and then the other version is the 2.0 that's the one I got now he does charge a, a small fee of five dollars to buy this ROM uh, I bought it myself once you download and pay for it uh, you're gonna be emailed um, a link on this link you're gonna download the zip file and once you get the zip file and you have it on your desktop or wherever you choose to have it now we're gonna go and connect the Google Wi-Fi to your computer Okay, once you do that, we're going to turn uh, USB storage. Let me focus this a little better. There we go. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to hit OK. There we go. Now, here, let me focus this again. Here, you're going to see two folders. One of them is the uh, H, and the other one should be a G. Now, when you go to uh, start on your computer, and you go to computer, here you should see two of them two removable disk okay if you're doing it from a from a PC you're gonna see the H which is actually 32 gigabytes that I have upgraded my uh, SD card on the phone and the other one is gonna be about two gigabytes okay now you wanna put this ROM on the one that says uh, uh, two gigabytes okay this is the primary memory on the phone so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click the ROM itself and I'm going to choose to send it to G removable disk. So send to. Uh, first, you have to confirm on your PC which one is which, okay? So I confirmed that mine is the G one, so we're going to send it there. There we go. It's uh, 142 megabytes. Okay, it's uh, transferring it. Okay, it's done. Now we're going to turn off USB storage. Once we do that, now you can unplug your phone, your Goo phone from the computer. Now I just want to show you what are the things that the stock ROM has that I really dislike. Uh, almost everything is in Chinese. The clock is in Chinese, even though the language is set up to, uh, to English. YouTube is not YouTube, it's actually uh, a Yuku. Uh, let me see what other thing. We don't have a weather application, uh, and then there's a lot of Chinese apps like iTunes. It's just a Chinese uh, music store, as you can see. Uh, let me see the Photos app. It's not named Photo. It's some word in Chinese. So I guess that's how you write Photo in the Chinese letters. Um, you know, and some couple other things. Also, the App Store is not the App Store. Uh, it's just Chinese App Store, so with, with the new ROM, you get the Android original App Store. And it actually, the application even looks like this, so it makes it look like if it was um, you know, the regular iTunes Store from the iPhone. Uh, and you get also a lot of goodies. Uh, you get more stuff. The camera has also been fixed. Uh, the camera on the new ROM, you're going to see it's going to be way different than this and a little faster. Uh, so that being said, now that we had the ROM installed, what you're going to do is the, is the following. If you have followed my tutorial on how to root this phone, you should have this application called uh, Mobile uh, Tools. So you're going to hit that. You're going to wait and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see into recovery mode. It says reboot into recovery mode. You're going to select that option. So reboot, yes. Okay. Now your phone should reboot in recovery soon. There we go. Recovery mode. So now uh, here we see this uh, recovery image. Um, uh, most of the letters are in Chinese, but it's still understandable. 
So the first thing we're going to do to install the ROM is we're going to go where it says catchy. It's actually from the very top is one, two, three. You're going to hit the minus. This is uh, up and down, so uh, it's really easy to do. And this is the enter button. So once we go to clear, this is basically saying clear catchy. You must, we must do that first. So we're going to scroll down until we highlight catchy. And we're going to hit enter again. All right, it's, it has done it already. So now the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, delete uh, data, wipe data on, on this phone. So we're gonna go, um, that was actually the second option. Let me see, let me make sure I did that correctly. Yes, it's, you're gonna see update, and then the following one, that's the one that will actually uh, clear your data, okay? So we're gonna press the the enter key which is the power button then we're gonna go uh, scroll down until we see this other Chinese letters you're gonna see it so we're gonna highlight it and once again we're gonna press the power button that's the enter button that's right now it's clearing your data so now that your data is clear now we're gonna go to um, uh, we're gonna go to where it says SD not SD2 if you put it on the on the on, on the uh, storage uh, that I mentioned previously on the video then you're gonna go to SD if you put it on the other SD card then you're gonna go to SD2 so in this case we're gonna go to SD okay and uh, then we're gonna see SD card update we're not gonna do that one we're gonna do the second one which is uh, SD zip okay I'm just reading what I can in English I know it has some other Chinese symbols but just if you follow this it's really easy okay so here we see all the contents I have on the phone's memory so right down here we are gonna see the ROM which is Phone 0702 plus 0701 mod version 2.0 we're gonna highlight it and then hit enter and then we're gonna see here in English finally we're gonna see where it says yes install you're gonna highlight it and then press enter again and now it's installing the ROM so now we're gonna wait until this is completed as you can see it's doing it right now so let's wait here until it's completed. It should take about two to three minutes. Okay, there we go. So now I said, I guess it says SD um, flash completed, whatever in Chinese at the very bottom. All right. So once you see that, now we're gonna go back by scrolling to the very bottom. And when you see this, the first option is gonna be reboot phone, reboot now. It's in Chinese, but it's it's pretty common sense so once you see that you're gonna press the the enter button which is the power key and now your phone is gonna reboot now we should see the new ROM installed on the phone as you can see now uh, the fonts I immediately noticed that the fonts on the uh, on the lock screen the time is is much different it's more like the iPhone 4s uh, let's go ahead and see okay so here we see the ROM this is how you're gonna see it now you see that the photo app is no longer in Chinese the camera is a, the user interface is gonna be a little different but it's much better okay um, now you can access the photos app from here and vice versa okay uh, also the camera Oops, I forgot to mention the camera now offers you more options uh, like Android options. So now you have the zoom. Um, actually, you, you can put it and uh, no, change it depending on how you want your picture to look alike. Uh, let me see. You also got the. Let me see. I think this is the zoom. No. Let's see. On and off. There we go. Here's the zoom. And now you can zoom the picture. Sorry. As you can see, something that you couldn't do before. Okay, this is another option that this new ROMs adds to your camera. Okay. Uh, another thing, so as I mentioned, is that um, you can actually access the camera from the Photos app. Something that you couldn't do before. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, uh, yes, and all the stuff that I mentioned already, which is uh, you have here the market. I'm sorry, this is just a little bit. Or here it is, Play Store. As you can see, it's now the actual one. Okay, I just must add my account. 
in your case you must have a Gmail account okay uh, most of the applications are now on um, in English I just gotta uh, put this all together and you know organize it it's a little bit disorganized but uh, here's the the weather application it actually works for your current area I, I'm just not connected to the Wi-Fi so I gotta do that but this is the actual English weather it works really well YouTube is no longer Yuku as you can see it's now YouTube let's see here are the, the settings actually in the settings I believe it gives you now the Bluetooth option is separate before in the previous ROM it didn't give you that option you had to go uh, it really was to about or something like that and then you have access actually you would have to go to network and access Bluetooth from there so now you have the Bluetooth more like the iPhone 4s alike okay oh also the clock now is in full English as you can see I showed you the previous clock was in Chinese so this is something great and it looks like the iPhone 4s one uh, the compass now is in English as well. Before it was in Chinese. Uh, let me see. The mail application is like the iPhone 4S, uh, and that's pretty much uh, you know it. There's there's some other uh, stuff installed here. Um, it already installs uh, mobile tools for you, which we previously installed uh, to root the phone for the first time. Okay. Uh, messaging app and all that is still the same. The music app is still the same. Uh, but once again, I think he did a uh, a really good job. I give him all the credits. I have I haven't done any work for this. Um, so once again, um, thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and have a good one. Bye bye.